This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Welcome to a bonus War and Pieces. Now, today what we're going to be talking about is lock and load tactical the core rules. Now, the reason I want to talk about the core rules is um, we're going to be covering the lock and load stuff. Now, I, I think I talked a little bit about this, but this is the actual book that you can purchase uh, from Lock and Load Publishing, and it's beautifully illustrated. But they give you the five point, the version five rules. Uh, where you can actually download them and I, I, I think you know if you download them and you can put them in your binder and and you can get a feel for this game before you decide to go out and get the stuff that you need to really get going with it it actually comes with um, uh, a couple of, of where, where you can cut out some some paper some paper maps in the back here and also some paper chits well there's a series of maps here that you can take a look at but the point i'm trying to make and we're going to go down and take a look at this in a second is that they give you a chance to get a feel for their game before you go out and get their supplements and their their um scenarios they've taken their modern warfare and um their um the World War II stuff, and they combined it into one manual. So now it's all the rules, everything that you need, no matter what you go and buy, is all in this book. It's all been cut down, trimmed, and made perfect. Um, so you can actually just go and do this. And, and, and it has a perfect solo system with it, which we're going to be talking about in the near future. But I really, really think that you're going to really enjoy this. We're going to go down to the table and we're going to take a peek at this. I want to show you some things and I want to take some of the maps out. Um, and I want to show you a little bit what, what you get with the starter kit. Um, the five, uh, the, the version five starter kit, uh, some of the maps that you get, some of the chits that you get, and just, just talk about some things a little bit without further ado, without wasting your time. Let's go, let, let's just go down to the table and check it out. All right. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to be taking a look here at, um, a really fantastic system now I'm not gonna go through all the rules we, we did that in another video um, when I showed you the one that I printed out and again you can print it out it gives you everything that you need here um, uh, as far as weapon teams and how it all works together uh, we're, we're gonna show you on a map in a few minutes on how this all goes what I do want to show you in the back here is they have a lot of fantastic charts that you can print out but the key here is that, as you can see, they do have some turns. They give you all the modifiers and stuff like that. But way, way, way in the back. Ah, here we go. You, they're going to give you a couple maps. So you can actually print these out and the counters. And you can give this a good go. It's going to be everything that you need to get going to see if this system fits what you need. And, and, and the system is, is just fantastic. Um, I got the starter here, and I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to show you some of these maps. Okay? Now, I, I was always one that wasn't a big fan of paper maps. But I do like these maps. Now, I'm going to show you some counters here. We're, we're, going, to, we're going to turn some of these over. And actually, we're going to show you a weapon group. One of, the, one of the neat things, and we're going to zoom right in here. All right, there we go. Is one of the really fantastic and wonderful things that you have here is, is it, it, it just is very smooth in how it works. Um, here you have what, what we consider uh, leaders. You can only have like two... Um, two leaders in a group uh, maybe like a leader and a medic that's two and then you can have two actually um squads i mean three squads and then to that you can have two vehicles that is your stacking limit within within a thing here now let's just say for for um the sake of things that we have vision here and that we're going to be able to 
uh, shoot. Now, uh, your left number there is um, your, your fire, uh, um, your attack. So you may think here that, that you would have, um, if you had a bunch of twos here for attack values, that would be two, four, six. It doesn't work that way. You go by the first unit, two, and then everything after it is one and one. So it actually the attack value here is actually four, okay? And add one for the leader, which would be five. So now you have an attack value of five going in, and you're going to be attacking um, here, which is a, what they're gonna get is a terrain modifier. Now, the funny thing about it, we're just gonna pretend there's no terrain modifier. So what's going to happen here is it's going to be five plus two is seven, and then we're gonna say four. Now, what's the difference? Seven and four is three, okay? So now what they're going to do is they are going to roll and add a five. So five, five plus three is eight. If that is greater than their morale, which it is, then what is going to happen is they are going to be shaken, which what would happen is they are going to go down a step. And as you can see, things would just get worse from there. Um, if it's greater than two times, uh, you can eliminate a thing. If they get hit again, it could lay, uh, um, it could take them off. Just giving you a, a brief overview of, of, of a little bit of a different type of, of, um, of, of combat system. I, I really thought that was kind of neat how that works. And it's all in the rule book. It's going to give you all the charts and everything like that, that, that you need. So I just kind of wanted to show you some of the things that you, that you can get. We are going to be covering this in detail coming up. I do not, like I said, I do not want to give away, uh, not give away, but uh, go over all the rules. It would take us a while. I think the best way to show you how this play plays is open up uh, uh, Heroes of Normandy and just go right into it and explain along the way so you understand all the things about morale and rallying and things like that. To rally, uh, your mor morale is in the left-hand corner here, which is a five. You, if you wanted to, if you had a leader there, you can um, go off his. And um, I went over it. You always want to roll under it, so they would stay. They would stay shaken. They would not rally. So a lot of things go into it, very deep, really, really intricate system. I think you're really gonna like it. Download it and definitely check it out. Let's go up top and get some of my final thoughts as we go forward with Lock and Load Tactical. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if you don't wanna invest in this, I don't know why you wouldn't. Uh, I just think that what you have here is a really great system. I really like it. It's different. It gives you a different feel. It it, it, it almost has an advanced squad leader feel to it in, in a lot of ways. Um, I love the laser cut uh, chits. Um, I didn't think I was going to like the 8x14 maps, but it turns out I really like having everything right in front of me. And I think I think that's a neat thing. Sometimes, you know, you want to play on a smaller level and this gives you a, 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 and it's not so much it's a smaller level, it's just having everything in front of you. And I think that's just a neat thing. Um, I really, really in, in, enjoy the starter kit. And I, I really think it's something that you you could take a look at. Don't, don't take my word for it. Go download the rules and take a look at it. Um, they do a wonderful uh, boot camp on it which uh, I, I watched all 62 videos, and I, I think it was a fantastic job. It really helps you understand the version five. And then combining all the rules together into this one book, I think, I mean, what more can you say? I mean, they're, they're, they're getting it done. Now, over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna open up some of these uh, some of these kits, and we're gonna take a look, and we're gonna break out. I'm gonna show you what's in the box. I'm gonna show you the maps. I'm gonna show you some of the bigger maps. And we're going to talk more about these rule sets. Like I said, we were not going to talk a lot about the rules themselves as much as we just wanted to show you everything, 
show you what we're going to be doing going forward and how cool this is going to be and it's going to be a lot of fun and we're going to get a couple of live plays in there of it as well because i think that's the best way to show how the game works Whew. another war and pieces that's two for two in a week for two weeks in a row and you're going to get two a week for quite some time until next time it's your old pal rob for war and pieces we'll see you soon